What's new in Filmora 12? Let's find out in this video. This is Filmora 12 beta. What you will see will probably be something like this. There could be some final changes. However, let's look at some of the major things that will affect you. The first thing that you will notice will be the menus right at the top. They have changed elements to stickers as well as move split screen to the templates version. I think this is a good move because not everybody uses split screen on their video all the time. The second thing is the ability to have different layouts. You can adjust the layout right at the top. This is a new default layout with the settings on the right. So things like adjusting your video, your audio, your mask will all be on the right side. I like this layout because it's a little bit like DaVinci Resolve. However, if you prefer the previous look, you can go to the menu and change to the classic look where all the settings will be at this usual location. Things like changing the scale is very smooth. Uh, you no longer have something that moves too fast or too slow and the effect is just nice. This will definitely enhance the speed of editing in my videos. You can also now choose your keyboard shortcuts. You can choose your default Filmora or Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. If you're used to using the software, you can change easily. However, if you want my uh, custom uh, keyboard shortcuts, check out links in the description. It's something that I've customized over the years to allow me to use my left hand to stay on the keyboard as much as possible and my right hand to stay on the mouse. Next, there are keyframes now, not just for the basic transform, but now you have keyframes for the color, even big net. All this allows you to be more creative with your videos. Next, there's a freehand mask. It allows you to mask any object of any shape easily. And you can even keyframe the mask as well. So you can change the points as the video plays. In the past, if you want to make adjustments to multiple clips, you had to copy the effect to each individual clip. With the adjustment layer, you can do it over several clips much easier and much quicker. Just drag it to your adjustment layer and every clip under that will now have this effect, speeding up your process of creating your video. You can now adjust your audio to the end of your video easily. Stretch or trim your audio to meet the length of that video. Track your audio into the timeline, whether you want it to be shorter or longer, turn on audio stretch and you can stretch your audio and it will lengthen it or shorten it without having you to adjust your audio. There are new uh, AI tools as well that allows you to do cutouts. You can easily isolate uh, anything from your video, turn on smart cutout, click on smart cutout and just highlight the sections that you want uh, Filmora to do the cutout. And you can go to this mode and track it forward and Filmora will remove the sections that you do not want. You can flip this around so that the background will be the one that you keep. Once it's done, click on save and you have this uh, object that is isolated and position it any way you want. I hope that this video has helped you. If you like it, do give it a thumbs up. Overall, I like what I see in Filmora 12. Filmora 12 will be released sometime in December 2022. If you have any questions or if you have any comments about this video, please leave them in the comments below. Keen to know what are your thoughts on Filmora 12. In the meantime, check out what's on the screen right now for the next Filmora tip.